Next story. Racing257.com Lando Norris needs rescue from McLaren cult say critics. Gunter Steiner. Two to three minutes. In a shocking turn of events that has sent ripples through the Formula One community, rising star Lando Norris' recent statements regarding team orders have sparked concerns about potential cult-like practices within Team McLaren. Norris, who recently gave up a race win to teammate Oscar Piastri on team orders, stunned observers by declaring that it was quote, stupid, of him to initially delay obeying those orders. This self-effacing admission from a highly skilled driver in a sport known for its cutthroat competitiveness has raised eyebrows and alarmed many in the paddock. Never would such a statement have ever, ever, passed the lips of the likes of Senna, or Prost, or Schumacher, or Mansell, said a retired F1 driver who donned the cowl of anonymous coward to speak freely. I can only assume that Lando is being browbeaten into these heartbreaking statements and is in desperate need of rescue, and of deprogramming. The unnamed former driver's comments reflect a growing concern among F1 veterans and pundits that McLaren may be employing cult-like indoctrination techniques to cow its drivers. Critics point to Norris's increasing willingness to sacrifice his own interests for the team as evidence of possible indoctrination. Dr. Emma Thornton, a sports psychologist specializing in high-pressure environments, offered her professional perspective. While team cohesion is important, it's unusual to see a driver of Norris's caliber express such extreme self-abnegation. This level of compliance could indicate an unhealthy team dynamic that prioritizes control over individual growth and ambition. Former world champion Nicky Lauder's son, Matthias Lauder, weighed in on the controversy, my father would be turning in his grave if he heard a driver apologizing for wanting to win. It goes against everything that makes a champion. However, not everyone in the F1 community shares these concerns. Longtime McLaren supporter and F1 journalist Mark Hughes defended the team, what we're seeing is a new era of teamwork in F1. Norris isn't brainwashed, he's mature enough to see the bigger picture, it's refreshing, not alarming. McLaren team principal Andrea Stella vehemently denied the accusations, the suggestion that we're running some sort of cult is preposterous, we foster a culture of mutual respect and teamwork. Lando's comments reflect his commitment to these values, nothing more. Norris himself seemed bemused by the uproar when reached for comment, I'm not sure what all the fuss is about, I'm just trying to be a good team player, and no, I haven't been forced to say this while blinking in Morse code or anything.